All right, hi everyone. Um, thanks for waiting. Some of the presentation I'm last. Um, I'm with Mentiv, and our mission, our goal is to make quality education affordable to anyone, anywhere. Anyone, anywhere means online, so I want to start off front saying that we're not in the business of content creation. Um, there are companies like Coursera, Khan, Khan Academy, many of those who create great uh, recorded content, put it online, we don't want to compete with them. We're also not quite sold on the idea that just putting videos online and letting someone watch them um, means quality education. We think quality education comes from engagement, interactions, people um, can meet and talk and work with a teacher, with classmates, collaborate, see each other, speak with each other live. If we can do that online, then we're making quality education available for anyone. But as many things in life, easier said than done. If any of you try to teach live uh, group classes online, you would have a situation similar to this, more or less. You will have to send your students uh, something like a course syllabus in a PDF or a Word document. You would mail it, it email it to them, along with other uh, messages about when next classes and so forth. You will send them calendar notifications for when the live meetings happen. You can send uh, in the notifications links to Google Hangouts or Skype or something else like a video service where you actually have the meetings on. Um, you'll have Slack or WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger for instant messaging, Facebook or LinkedIn to see the profiles of your classmates and know who they are, Dropbox or Google Drive to share files and so forth and on and on. And it means that every student and every teacher needs four or five or six different services with different logins. And with every feature that you want to have, you have 20 other features that you don't need, but they just come with a service. And it's a friction, of, full of, the experience full of friction and hard, and we've heard from so many people that, you know, my student missed meetings because they didn't get that email, or they didn't get my note about an assignment and they missed the deadline. So instead of um, asking each user to use so many services, we've built the first collaboration tool that's specifically designed for group learning. Instead of having each user use multiple services, just have all of them use one. We have all our features in the same tool, um, and this allows everyone who's not the big uh, enterprise or company that can use the big enterprise learning management system that are clunky and feature heavy and expensive. If you're not those guys, every independent instructor or small company can teach live online small group classes using our, um, our tool. So a few examples, nonprofits that have teams around the world, we need to train them. Any small instructor for, you name it, GMAT, SAT, leadership negotiations, mindfulness, whatever, can work on, um, on Mentiv. Two examples, just to kind of give a taste of what it is. One of them, CORE, a nonprofit out of Arizona, they help what they call disconnected youth, people who went through the, the system, and at 18 were just kicked out because hey, you're an adult, now you can be on your own. But guess what, they, they're not ready yet. Um, they tell us these are people who never had a bank account, never had uh, medical insurance. So they host them for a year in house and train them and teach them on life skills and professional skills. This is a quote from their website. Um, technical education through an online platform, part of that is done on, on Mentiv. Um, another example is, let's see if I can pronounce it right, Corporación Urrea Arubelais. Did I say it right? I think so. Um, this is a, the NGO arm of Leonisa, actually a very big lingerie company in Latin America. They have hundreds of thousands of employees, and their NGO arm um, helps employees and their families that are from low-income communities um, with professional training and different skills. They have dozens of students learning web development now using Mentiv. So yeah, um, switching gears to the tool itself, what we have, um, start with an interactive course structure. We basically reimagine what a course syllabus will look like on an online course. This is an interactive syllabus that has um, class schedule, weekly meetings. Wait, one minute? Oh, okay. So ask me about the features, okay? <laughs> so interactive syllabus, you can see weeks, dates, um, announcements from your instructor, notifications that can be embedded with, that can embed videos, pictures, and so forth. Um, up here, you can go to the live class, it launches a um, video, basically, session, and Q&A feature that can show you what the right answer is if you want to click on jump to the right answer, assuming the person who asked the question tagged the question is answered. You click on it, you go immediately to the right answer instead of just um, reading through threads of hundreds of posts. You can edit questions, see your classmates, have personal, um, sorry, I'm bouncing, I'm, I'm running through this fast, right? And I'm probably not having enough time anyway. 
So yeah, um, have messages <coughs> with uh, individual folks. That's our thread, that, that's our stack, sorry. And um, that's it, ask me what we need. <laughs> <laughs> What are you looking for? Amazing question. Thank you. The question is what are you looking for? So, um, we're in the middle of a fundraising round. We have up around $1 million, about 25% committed already. If you know anyone who's interested, we would love to talk to them. We're looking for interns and full-time developers that we'll be hiring soon, um, front-end and DevOps mainly, and mostly users. If you are in an organization that has any educational capacity, teaching, training, coaching, mentoring for groups, please contact us. This is our site. Um, we have a demo specifically for you guys. It's free and open. Click, you use that um, link up there, create your own account, and you can play with the features and see everything, um, how it works. Other questions? Yes, no other questions. <laughs> What's your business model, uh, yeah. revenue source? So um, we charge for that. Um, we're, we're still, Currently we have one tier, but we're going to break it down into more tiers of premium and, and more premium. There's going to be a three tier probably that's uh, very basic. Um, the cost right now is based on how many students you have and how long the course is. So if you have five students for a two week course, it's going to cost less than if you have ten students for a three month course. That's pretty awesome. Um, you know, I've spent a lot of time uh, in middle America and uh, thinking about how to connect with people out there. And stuff. I'm really curious about what your demographic is right now. Are you having like a heavy rural demographic at all? Like people from rural areas? So not necessarily, um, but the students are not our customers. So we license the tool out, we give the tool out to the teachers, and they, um, they reach out to their students. So we don't necessarily know every student where they are. Um, we know our, we know the partners that we have, the, the, the trainers, the education, the educators, um, these are the folks we work with. Um, how do you know that you're really revolutionizing, like on, like almost like online course learning? Like, how do you know, like beyond enrollments, beyond minutes, and people finishing the course? But how do you know you you kind of put your secret sauce on what truly really makes a good education? Yeah. So um, one method to look at is, is is completion rates. The students usually go to online courses and finish them at five to ten percent, roughly. Um, and there are a lot of studies around that that show that the main things that are lacking are procrastination, that, that they're causing this are procrastination and difficulty. If you take a course on your own, just watch videos, it's easy to procrastinate and it's hard to, to go through. Students on Mentor finish at 75%, so that's probably more than 10 times better. Um, and, and we also hear from, from, from the instructors that we are solving the need, right? Instead of spending hours on setting up the class, and we actually had one instructor telling us, I had this combination of services that worked for me, I'm using it. Every few months, something in one of those changed, and I have to start, and I'm not a tech keeper, and I, I'm, I'm not a tech, but not, she said not me, I'm not a tech either. Um, and, and I have to start figuring out what changed, and why did it break, and what to do next, right? So we're helping them spend more time teaching and learning than setting up um, the classroom. Hi, uh, you said that your focus was on live interaction. Um, I saw you display like um, instant messaging. Do you also have a video capability, uh, one to many model students? So uh, I said that our focus is on interaction and collaboration, not necessarily live, but live is part of it. So, yes. Um, in the, the first thing that, that you see when you open the app is this course structure page. And at the very top, it counts back to the next live meeting. So like a regular course, you would have a class once a week or twice a week. Click on that, it launches a video, uh, a video client. Many to many, you can see each other talk like in a live session, but then we enable collaboration throughout the week between classes as well. Any last questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>